Sunday morning and today's goal is to uh, get the amp into working condition, make sure it's uh, functioning correctly and then do a demonstration of it. Um, I've done some preliminary um, testing on it to see that there were no major malfunctions in the amp. The preamp was working perfectly. Um, I wanted to adjust the voltages, the B plus, the dropping string, the dropping resistors to get the appropriate voltages um, for the different uh, parts of the, uh, of the amplifier to have the cathode follower and uh, V1AB plate voltages be the same as they were in the Marshall Jose. So um, I'll go ahead and plug this guy in and we'll take a little quick runabout through the amplifier. I've got my meter going. We'll set it to DC volts. Get our ground point with our probe. And we'll start at, um, well, this filter cap is just basically, um, it's not tied to any particular node, but we're at 346. So that's what you would see direct off the rectifier based upon the high volts um, and this, you know, the simple math of what the rectifier would, uh, would derive after you know, dealing with these particular AC uh, voltages. The second um, point we've got here is 340 volts. Okay, and that's what you would expect to see around the phase inverter um, at the top, not at, not after the uh, plate resistors, but at the uh, node where the plate resistors meet. Um, the next point on the B plus string, we're seeing 333 volts, which would be the um, cathode follower voltage that you would see in the in the Jose as well at the point at which it joins with the 100k resistor at the tube, not on. Uh, on the other plate side, but uh, B side. Um, and then we have our final filter capacitor here, which is tied to V1A and B, and we're at 313. So um, now we can just go and verify that we have some kind of cathode voltage current um, or cathode voltage present um, for all the different locations to see that the tubes are in conduction. So right here we have our cathode network for V1A and B. So we have V1A. 1.6 volts, V1B, 1.8. So that looks really good right there. We could go to the cathode now for the cathode follower. Look at 1.2, which looks really good. And right here, 187, which looks great as well. Um, let's look at like the B plus then after the resistors here. We have a drop here on V1A down to 189, 190. Um, so that obviously represents um, you know the uh, the current drop from the from the current being used by the tube. Um, let's go to the B section. 244 looks right to me. Um, we can go to the other side of the 100K in the cathode follower. M185 as you expect to see. Um, so I think what we have is a, you know a good operating amplifier at this point. So next step is to bring it into the submarine studio and uh, plug it into the line in on that Marshall and see how it sounds. So I'll see you up there.